All right, so in this video, we're going to highlight using substitution boxes with breadboards. The main reason to use a substitution box here is to easily and effortlessly swap out component values in an already populated breadboard. For example, here we're gonna be using our DIY single transistor overdrive, and we're gonna remove this resistor here. So once we have this resistor removed, we're gonna use our sub box. Now, the two leads of the sub box represent the two leads on the resistor. We're gonna put that guy to the side, and we're going to swap in these two leads to represent that resistor. Now, with our sub box, we can easily choose between 12 values on the left side, 12 values on the right side, and now we have 24 values that we can circulate through on the fly. In addition to resistors, we also have seven models total. We've got electrolytic caps, so those are your large value. We've got ceramic caps, those are your small value. We have traditional film caps. We've also got diodes, which are two symmetrical pairs on each side. We've got FET substitution box, which we have JFETs and MOSFETs. And we've got BJT style transistors. So that's how you can simply and easily use a resistor, substitution box, or any of our other offerings to speed up your creativity with breadboarding.